They look at me and see only the mask. The Azakana have spread like a plague since the Noxian invasion. My work never ends. Before, I chased a wayward gale. Now, I hunt a storm of darkness. Hey guys, welcome back. We are playing Yone into Lux today. And Lux got a buff this patch, so she's pretty good right now. So, laning will be pretty interesting. Um, let's see. Normally it's a poke heavy matchup so it means that you can go full sustain so we have the drone shield and then we also have second wind in the runes and that should be enough to sustain us through the early game. I'm gonna let her push and try to dodge that E plus the passive proc. Um, if you can do that then that's definitely going to like the, make the landing phase a lot easier. Nice. Hey, he does have a pretty big hitbox, so even though sometimes it looks like you dodged it, then you still get hit by it. Problem in this matchup is that whenever you Q forward, then she can always uh, hit you with a Q because um, you always dash forward in the same direction. Ouch. Okay, farm is looking decent. Um, it is going to be rough early on. Just taking the minions we can. You can use the W, but most of the time you want to make sure that you use it to counter some of the damage. Um, that's how you end up out sustaining people. He's pushing very hard early game. That's a good trade. You want to E back before she gets to use a Q. Because if you get hit by the Q inside your E, then she's going to get a much better trade-off. Because she will be stuck and you will not be able to E out. We are running teleport in this matchup. I like to do that on Yone nowadays because it's a scaling champ and he has a very weak early game. He's out of mana. Oh, that's a grace, okay. That's a pretty good trade. Now we pretty much out sustain her, but she can always recall if she wants to. But if she wants to recall, she has to shove in the wave. But now we can keep shoving her in if we want to. Just to keep her in the lane. Just have to watch out for the graves. I'm gonna get a ward here. He might be bottom side right now just because they're fighting. Down. The Seraph goes. Nice, Timo. It looks like our team almost died or something. There's a Graves coming in. Oh, what? I did not mean to do that. Looks like we are fine though. I wanted to wait a bit uh, with my flash just because I want to bait out the locks as well. What is this guy doing? I think he should be fine. <laughs> nice. Base rush. No flash on the graves. I want to wait flashing just so we could try to bid out Deluxe flash as well, but he did not use it. The wave is in a good spot, so we can look for a freeze here. There we go. And she has a recall thing because she was pretty low and she also had no mana. I'm gonna lose all of this. Just keeping um, in front of the tower here. Very easy to freeze at this point. Um, easier if you have more minions because then you can always trim it down. If you have too few, then of course you will not be able to hold the freeze and then the wave is going to get messed up. The perfect freeze going on. When she comes back, then we can start looking for traits. This is the problem though, is that while you are channeling your Q, the third Q, then she can use the own Q and then you will not be able to E back. But we are ahead in farm. Uh, we are supposed to lose this really hard. We are playing a scaling champ against a early game lane bully. That is also strong in the mid game. 
have to watch out once she gets level 6. That's when she gets a lot of burst damage. We want to make sure that we're always healthy. If we have a low HP, then we have to recall. Nice, that's a very good trade. If she misses a Q like this guy, she wasted, that's when you can go in. In this matchup. Because then she has no way of disengaging. So the trade should always be won if you go for that fight. Has to 6. Had to watch out for the Graves though. I know he's hovering around somewhere. Anna is ahead in XP, I think. Oh, they should be somewhat even, but he's farming a bit better. That's nice. Got a pike coming in. Hotland is missing. Enemy jungle is also missing from the map. Lux is slow mana though. There they are. Okay. We can keep this way once more, and she's low HP again. I think there are two people right here. The uh, Pike and the Graves. Otherwise, I would have went for the kill. Try to bait them out. There's no way she would walk up like this. Nice. I might actually consider going Serpent's Fang this game. You can do this if they have a lot of shields and Lux has barrier and she also has a W and then Grace might go for the shield bow. So it might actually be pretty good use of this game, but you definitely do not want to get it earlier than shield bow, infinity edge, and then you can get it if you want to. Lucian is going for Gale Force, that is his core item. We can go for this here, sustain. We don't really need it, but we also can't afford the full component here, so might as well get the Ram Scepter. Oh, Skana is far ahead in CS, that's nice. And he should be because he has not been ganging and Graves is just perma ganging, but he's doing the right thing is that he's sticking to one th thing and just farming out, and that's also fine as long as he makes sure he gets a lead when Graves spends his time ganging. Nice, Timo. Graves in a good spot again. That's a control ward here, I really want to take out. Pretty good trade, and we can of course sustain back up because we have the ramp set up. Taking out the control ward, nice. Bang, I'm just stalling for my ult and my E to come up. Between uncertainty and fear. Pike is missing from bot lane though, and Graves is also missing. Wait, that's still hit. Interesting. But her Q is down now. I'm gonna stone her away from the cannon. Oh, is he going for it? Flash us down on the pike. They should at least lower his kill potential in the bot lane uh, because they're somehow winning. I also lost some kill pressure because I could have used that all on the locks, but this is also fine. So at least he will not go for any flash plays. So maybe they can survive. Back top. Ouch, that's not good. 
He might be looking for a kill in mid lane as well, while his ult is still up. Oh, that's not very good. Okay, she's low HP. She does not have any potions, so she probably probably has to recall. As the brave's coming, I think Pike will be here as well soon. I'm gonna do it like this if it's unsafe for you to push. You don't know where people are, and you see this Graves coming in here. So we got that tower plate for free without taking any risks. So you can use your E like that as well. His flash is down. He has a 150 gold bounty. Don't have my ult up. As long as we can clear out the uh, vision here. He's back bottom lane. Top lane is going even. Alright, let's get out. We can look for a teleport in the bottom lane, but there's no really good wards. Like this one is too. It should be up here, then that would be a very good TP. Oh no. Ah, that was close. Okay, I'm not gonna TP for this day. They ran that one down pretty hard. Unfortunate. I don't know why he's playing Aphilios. That was like Scanner's mistake. Like he always extended way too hard to get that ult off. Top lane also died. Okay. Will soon fall. Could be able to stall it out. If we can, then I'm gonna outscale all of them. Camille is also really good in the late game, but they don't really have any hard scalers. Some us down. Three people mid. Okay, no mind four, I guess. I don't think he should be in waiting right now. He's gonna get collapsed on. But they might actually go top as well. Have to get out, don't try to help. Oh nice. Wait, where did the Lucian go? I thought he was going top as well, because if he did then all of them would have died. Pike might be here. Nice, okay, we got something. There he is. Block his halt. Okay, that's alright. I was hoping we can get the pike, but. Awesome. Nice, great job. Now I get the uh, shield ball. Hopefully, he doesn't try to cancel my recall here. He died to the Lux? How? Well, that sound is so loud on that Pike's W. I can one-shot him with a combo. I just need my Q stacked. He's very squishy. And he is supposed to be because he's going full AD with all the items. Strange, a mirror. 
Okay, one versus two mid. Just need my Q stack, that's when I can go in, otherwise they're just gonna kite me, because he has the guild force, so he has like double dashes. Thanking a lot of damage from the tower. I have life steal, so that's why I'm not too worried. Can you get it? Nice, okay. Come to me with him. Oh, wrong way, what? Your turret has been destroyed. An ally has been slain. Yeah, all of the guys are struggling right now except for me and the jungler. That's why this game is a bit rough, but it should be winnable. Get to scale for free. I'm scared of fucking in here because I know they have vision control. Like, they have wards everywhere, so Lux can just snipe me with a Q and then maybe burst me down with someone else as well. Oh, that was so close. I didn't want to waste my ult because I did not know what he had up. I think I missed one Q as well. That's why he survived. But at least he has to recall. If he doesn't, then I'm gonna kill him. He does not. Wow, okay, that's a lot of damage. Okay, nice Timo. Just gonna die to Pike Ult. Oh, nice. Okay, that's super worth it. I forgot. He's sitting on 9 kills. Yeah, it's like the Essence Reaver and the Gale Force as well. Did not expect the damage, but that's my fault. The thing is, Timo is actually really good against three members on that team, because they're all reliant on hitting the auto attacks. That's not very good. I can go top. If they can at least that tower there, that'd be nice. Okay, that's going down. Mills up here. Okay, she also has the Triforce. He has two levels on that Simo. Thing is, you can't E out when you're in her ultimate, so you can use that Executor on that E. But the shield from the Mythic item, of course, always nice. We're gonna split push in the side lane. Watch out from this side here. He's way too far up. I don't know why there are two people bottom side. Gonna get collapsed on. He made it out. I don't think there's a ward in your camp. I'm not gonna recall here, just in case. It's so random where they decide to place wards, and if there's a ward here, then I'm dead 100%. Get the cloak, we can sell this item here, and then gonna get the lens. I think I need to side lane against the Camille, because I'm the only one. Who's up in XP and gold? I think the team was gonna get one shot. Like she has her core items completed, so this is the point where she starts nuking people with IQ. They just need to stay back. They can wake really easily if they play properly, because they have the Seraph. And then Skana can come top and ult the Camille. Luckily, she's not playing with the Ignite. Okay, she messed up. Okay. We'll take that one. We don't have people with us. Timo is in base. 
They just need to uh, farm the waves now because they can farm out for free. That top lane is down. Can get that cannon. Nice. I'm gonna keep pushing top side. We have the highest CS in the game and I don't really snowball this game. I only have one kill guys and I'm still this far ahead. So that's why it's so important that you can farm well. That's why CS is the most important thing. But she'll not be able to snowball every single game with hundreds of kills, you know. But farming is the one way you can secure yourself leads. Because we are... It's pretty much even. I mean, we... Out, some of our teammates got some really hard early on, but now it's fine. But I still don't have a lot of kills, right? I'm only sitting on one kill. Well, I'm sitting on all the uh, <laughs> assists. We could do Baron actually. Okay, they're going bot to defend. That would have been very free Baron. Got to take down the tower, maybe then get the Camille as well. This team was fit now, wow. Ouch. Okay, flash is down. Watch out for the passive shield. Oh, that was close. This Aphilias would have died if um, Sarath did not come in. Okay, I got the uh, Infinity Edge. This is the spike we are playing for on Yon. Oh, what? We can get the Longsword instead. More damage. One shotting people. They're squishies. I don't think I'm gonna go for Serpent's Fang this game. This it's not worth it just for the locks and graves. Cause I can get much better items like the Death Dance. That's gonna make it hard for three people on that team. Flash is down. That should be a free dragon. You see how I aimed that Q? I did not aim it directly on top of him. I expected the dash and then I tried to predict that instead. Yeah, for the Lock Salt. Does it not have... Nice. Great, we got that kill as well. We can go for Baron. We need to go for the Baron. Graves is alive, but our jungler is ahead. Looks like no one is moving, so we just have to push mid then. No flash on this guy, but I have to watch out still if I don't have any minions around me, because he can just hold me and then I'm gonna die. And I have zero mobility if there are no minions I can queue to. They're fighting. But Lucian is not dashing over. Oh, this guy got, got obliterated. Okay. Now we are getting the kills. We were only sitting on assists previously, but we still have a super far high CS lead. Oh, everyone in this game? I can go top. There should be no wards here, at least. Watch out for Graves. We can go for Death Stance. Just because the champs have a lot of burst damage, like the Pike, uh, the Lucian, the Graves as well. Um, so of course this makes us pretty tanky and also very hard to burst down. And then if we get kills, then we get some HP back. So very good against AD. Champions with a lot of bursts, so assassins and champs like Graves. Oh, 
Oh my god, she's gonna survive one HP. Okay, no mind. Kim is pushing bot, so we need to cancel the recalls. He has no flash, I think. Okay. Kim is gonna get the inhibitor, right? Awesome. I think Apelia should. No, he's not winning. What? <laughs> oh, the cannon. But yeah, I like to go ham with my ultimate. I try to... um, Because people only expect you to go in when you have your stack queue up. But a lot of times where I just go ham with my ultimate alone without using the E either. Free tower. Nice. TPS also down. We can do the Baron. Go for the Baron. I'm gonna teleport. They have a lot of sustain. Yeah, they have a decent amount, so we can also go for this item. Just go for this while Graves is down. Did the pike survive? Wait, why is everyone chasing? Wait, hello? Now Graves is up. I can't go this way here. I'm just gonna get one shot. I'm gonna take this. Jungle camp. I did not expect the others to um, stop the Baron. And somehow Pike also got out. I think he flashed. He must have flashed. What here? Okay, now he doesn't have anything up, we just need to watch out for the Lux ultimate, and then we should be fine. Ultimate is up, almost. This Drake should be guaranteed. But you can see how tanky we are when we have the Death Stance. Because uh, this Graves is going for a Hyper Burst build. So if we did not have the armor right now, we most likely have died. A rip Tito. I thought of pushing bottom side, but... These guys are just gonna die so fast that they might attempt for the Baron right now, so that's why I'm gonna help. I have my ult up. They're pretty low HP as well. If I can get one good ult off, that should be GG's. Just need to watch out for the Lux Q. I'm really scared of that. Camille is ult. Got it. Grace is recalling here, right? Here uh, that sucks. The stocks also survived somehow. Did he heal or something, or did I just get out too early? Because I was afraid I did not know if Camille had the ult up. No fate, nor destiny. Only tomorrow. Gonna go for anti healing and then we also get the guardian angel, and that should be enough. Because the fit members are 80, we don't care about the locks. I mean, get him in. Forget the past. It only oh, Timo has to, watch, has to watch out. That's a dead Timo. 
He has level 16 though, so even if he runs it down, then his rooms are still gonna become uh, pretty useful. We can get this item, the seal. This is the problem right here. We could actually go for Serpent's Fang now, just because she has the Xerox cage as well. Um, now is when she's very hard to burst down, and she also has insane amount of damage at the same time. We have the Lux W, we have the Graves. We could try go for Serpent's Fang, but we're gonna be very squishy, that's the problem. The mill might be waiting around here in the brush. Yeah, she's still here. Let's see if we can try to get her. Okay, nice. Problem is, we don't know where the rest of the team are, so I can't really push up. They might try to collapse onto me because they have a wave coming in, so they need to watch out here. He just needs to uh, spam the shrooms and not place them too close together, so when they use the um, uh, lens thingy, then it will not clear out all of the shrooms. What? We did not get the graves? I thought he was dead 100%. Oh, he's the big end. Get out, get out. I had to save this guy. I thought they got the graves, like they bursted him down with everything, but apparently that was not enough. Looks like we definitely need the Serpent's Fang. It's like a complete counter to Lux. I don't think we can hold this one here either. Oh no. Oh, I messed up. I wanted to E out. I donated them. Okay, he also trolled. They might actually now just because I trolled that one. Okay. Never mind. I can teleport for this one. Yikes, I really trolled this one right here. I want to get some quick burst down and then E out. But I did not press it in time and then I got CC chained. You can teleport, just wait for me. We can TP to this rooms. I'm gonna stack up on vision. I get him, he has QSS. Wait, did this guy not know? Did the drag at least so I don't have to TP? I see. Okay, nice. Okay. So we have the soul, that's perfect. That's actually great. Because I have a lot of burst damage, so this drake is really nice. I can also build some defensive items and then that's going to be amplified. Let's see, should we? Yeah, let's go for the Serpent's Fang, definitely. Like now, it's a good time to get it. I'm also the only one who can build it. If they die now, they're gonna end. You can't be that far up. Julius. I was stuck in that for a long time, so I could actually get QSS as well. I got that double right there. I definitely want that Serpent's Fang that has so many shields right now. And we can do the Baron if we get another pick, because they have two people down. I'm gonna heal up here. How did that go through? Get the Lux please. No, we're not getting her. 
Need to go for the Baron. Out here. We got the Vision as well. Need to take this before the Camille comes in. I don't have my ultimate out just yet. Watch out for the Lux ult. Okay, nice. Go for the Serpents. Like, it's really awful to get Lethality at this point in the game, but just for the passive alone, just look at how many shields they have. They have Bloodthirster shield bow, they have Camille shield as well, the Serx Gaze, the Lux W. Let's see how much it ends up denying them, but we will probably only have one fight before we can end the game, so maybe not too much. Watch out, his so extended pretty far. Yeah, I need, need a bit more gold for this item. I'm the only one who can buy it. Wait, he, he should let me have it. Wait, why is he farming it? I could have gotten it if he did not take that wave. Camille is not matching the side lane. I'm afraid of recalling right now. Okay, I have to. Might be able to get it now. Nice. Like the tank is member on their team. Watch out, Timo. They're gonna flank on the sky. Timo needs to watch out. Let's go. We got the Serpent's Fang. This one of those rare games where I actually get to full build on Yone. Like, it's been such a long time because games end so fast, but because we have been trading kills back and forth, then it went all the way to late game. So this is one of the rare full Yone built games. Nice, got the locks. Hello Drake. One and a half minute. Got the Serpent's Fang, so we can deny those shields here and the Sterx Gate as well. Behind? I guess alive. Okay. I think we can go for it. Oh, that's a lot of damage, wow. Nice. Best GG's. Alright, thanks for watching guys, and see y'all in the next one.